Everybody, it's time for another episode of Stats That Exist But Do Not Matter. It's number 71, and today we're talking about streaming services. They're taking over a lot of MLB games. Some people like it, some people don't like it. We got Apple TV+, Plus, Peacock, Amazon Prime. How do MLB teams do when their game is broadcast on a streaming service instead of the local network? We're going to dive into the stats. We talked about those three outlets. Let's start with Amazon Prime. There's only one team that has played predominantly on Amazon Prime, and those are the New York Yankees. You might be familiar with them. They do pretty well when they're on Amazon Prime. They've had eight games on Prime, and they are 6-2 and two on the season. That's a 750 winning percentage, so good job to those Yanks. There are some blowout wins in these games when Garrett Cole is on the mound. Most of those games, other than Cole starts, were actually relatively close, but the two blowouts, if you can call it that, were started by Garrett Cole. When he started against the White Sox on May 13th, the Yankees won 10-4. Then on July 1st, when he started against the Cleveland Guardians, the Yankees won 13-4. Garrett Cole's pretty good, but there's a little bit of a pattern there, so that's kind of fun. But let's not only talk about the Yankees. We do that a lot over here at John Boy Media. Makes me sick to my stomach, if I'm being honest. Just kidding. In 2022, Apple TV Plus, they also started at selecting some MLB games to air on Friday night. How have those teams been doing when they're carried by Apple TV? Houston, the Houston Astros, they've played the most games on Apple TV, which is five. Five games on Apple TV. And so far, the Astros, who are a pretty good ball club, they're 4-1 and one when their game is broadcast on that service. Okay, their division brethren. Losing a lot of games recently, formerly owned by Jake Storielli, the Los Angeles Angels, they've been sputtering. They're in a death spin. On their Apple TV games, 0-4. Pretty tough. By far the worst record of any team on Apple TV games, both in the AL West with the best and the worst. Their losses were tough games to lose, too. On May 27, the Angels and Blue Jays were tied 3-3 until the ninth inning when Toronto scored. They lost that game. July 1st, the Astros held the Angels to two measly hits. One of them was by Shohei Otani. They lost that game 8-1. to In the four games that the Angels lost, Mike Trout went 1-for-9 with seven strikeouts on Apple TV. He does not like the Apple TV stage. Both big Apple teams, the Yankees and the Mets, since we're talking about it, are 2-0 and on Apple TV. The Cardinals and the White Sox are both 2-1, and both pretty good records there. Here's a theory that's kind of being proven. Red teams don't like Apple TV. Both the Red Sox and the Reds are 0-2 on Apple TV broadcast games. That's 0-4 combined. What about Peacock, though? We can't forget about Peacock. They're also getting into the game a little bit, the NBC guys. Most teams have had just one game on Peacock so far this season. The Tigers have had two games on Peacock. They're the only team with two, and they've lost both because the Tigers, they lose a lot of games. And so far, here's a fun fact. St. Louis is the only bird team to have a game featured on Peacock. Get it? Like Cardinal... Peacock, Burt. This is what we do at this company. It's a lot of in-depth, important research. They won that game against the Pirates on May 22nd, so good for our cards. Whole lot of data about all these streaming service games. We went through, we interpreted it all because that's what we do at this company. Shout out to Houston, 4-1 and one on the streaming service games. They love the big stage. Most teams are just 1-1 one and one or 0-1, oh but it's going to be really interesting to see how these stats develop as more streaming service games are put on the air. Do you like them? I don't know if I like them yet. I enjoyed when the Mets were playing on them. I haven't caught a lot of the other ones. The Yankees are in prime, it seems like, every week. So who the hell knows? But thank you for tuning in to another episode of Stats That Exist But Do Not Matter. We will see you next time. Thanks for watching today's episode of Stats That Exist But Do Not Matter. It was brought to you by Roman. You know how when you're wearing a great outfit, everything just looks right and your confidence is soaring? You can walk into a room knowing you're on your A game. And if you've been struggling with PE, Roman can give you that same feeling in the bedroom. We all know that change doesn't happen without action. Whether you're looking for gains at the gym or a better experience in the bedroom, there's never any shame in showing up for yourself and your health. So if you're dealing with PE, don't ignore the issue. Instead, face it head on with Roman. Specifically, Roman Swipes. They're clinically proven to help you last longer in bed. No prescription needed. Their PE treatments are safe, effective, and used by millions of men. And you can get all their products with two days free shipping. Go to GetRoman.com slash stats today. And if approved, you'll get $10 off your first order. That's GetRoman.com slash stats. Thank you to them for sponsoring today's episode of Stats That Exist But Do Not Matter.